This old bed was on its way to the township dump. What a waste. I set out to see if the wood could be reclaimed and upcycled into something new and useful. First, let's remove all the metal bits and break it down into separate boards. Not sure what purposes can be found for the old hardware, but I will keep it anyway. After double checking for any metal that may have been missed, a pass through the planer reveals the true appearance of the wood. Whoops, <laughs> looks like some metal was overlooked. Caught it just in time. One more pass and I would be replacing the blades of dad's old planer. My first guess is that it looks like a mix of birch and either poplar or basswood. However, on closer inspection, I decided it is a mix of both heartwood and sapwood gum. And the three bed supports are pine. Gum is not a wood that I would think of as being ideal for cutting boards, as it is a bit soft, although it machines and finishes very well. On the table saw, the boards are all ripped down to one and three eighths inch wide strips, then cross cut, removing any defects and leaving each as long as possible. At this point, we have created a small pile of kindling and a nice collection of 5 8 inch thick by 1 and 3 8 inch wide boards, ready to be glued and clamped. There are a few longer lengths and these will be turned on the lathe to make an interesting handle on one of the boards. Nothing fancy, just a few comfortable places for the fingers to grip. After the glue is cured, the boards need to be cleaned up with a few passes through the planer getting us down to about one and one quarter inch thickness on the edge grain boards and about a half inch thick on the face grain boards. With the band saw, all of the corners are rounded off and a pleasing shape is created on the one larger board. The final result is six unique cutting boards. The three pine planks will be used on a future project. Remember folks, never buy wood. Now stop watching YouTube videos and go make some sawdust. But before you do, don't forget to like and subscribe.